Včera jsme uh, debatovali o věr. And we talked about three ways to strengthen your faith. A hovorili jsme o troch věcech, které posilňují naši víru. That you can number one, you can um, hear the Shrimad Bhagavatam or Bhagavad Gita. Uh, prvá byla možná počuvat, alebo čítat Shrimad Bhagavatam alebo Bhagavad Gita. Number two, you can uh, behave as a devotee, apply the philosophy. A číslo dva, to bylo správat se jako otany, uplatnit filozofiu. And number three, you can be grateful, say thank you, Krishna. A po třetí, můžeme být vděční a povedat děkujeme, Krishna. So did anybody here try to apply one of these ways to strengthen your faith? Pokusil se někdo tu uplatnit jednu z těchto troch věcí, které posilňují věru? Yes. What did you do? Which one? Uh, first, I, I, um, I tried to. I read. I read the explanations of Shikshastaka Slokas, but then I realized that it's not Srimad Bhagavata and Bhagavad Gita, so I wasn't sure. It's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> so then I tried to develop a gratitude. Okay. Čiže na to som sa snažila čítať význam a preklad, teda Šri Šiča Štaka, ale potom som si uvedomila, že to není moc Bhagavad Gita, Šimak Bhagavata, a takže povedala, že to je dosť blízko teda, a potom som sa snažila rozvinúť vďačnosť. So you did two of the three. Takže si robila dve z tých troch. Okay, anybody? Yes, you had something? A on? Ja som čítať Šimak Bhagavata. A děkoval jsem za to, co se mi stalo. A robil jsem ještě Krišnovi zahradky prést. A všechny tři. Like Mahara Jambari, she did all nine. Mahara Jambari, že ona robila všechny těch devět procesů. OK, někdo jiný? She read Shrimad Bhagavatam, she cooked for the titties. And she thanked in these ten ways as you described. Oh, for something difficult. You don't have to share that. But she said it's good. Oh, it's good, okay, nice. Thanks, okay. Anybody else? Do something yesterday. Yes. This morning. Today. Yeah, I mean today. <laughs> okay, so when I woke up, it was the first thing that was on my mind. So oh. I tried to find ten things to thank Shwapraupa for. Uh, 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 yes. uh, uh, yes. I was focused on the first thing I saw. I was focused on the first thing I saw. I was focused on the first thing I saw. I was focused on the first these verses. Uh, uh, then I uh, tried to go through what we did yesterday, oh. and uh, I tried to be thankful. Also. Okay, good. I, I made just two or three thank you sentences in a difficult situation, and it really helped. It does help a lot. Actually, that was Adi Purush who gave who gave that. Maybe you heard him say it before. Mm -hmm. uh, it's wonderful. Bol to Adi Purusha, ktorý návodol týchto desať vecí, ale on o tom hovoril a je to úžasné, ak to pomáha. OK. Anybody else? Niekto iný? Robil niečo včera? Today. Dnes? OK. So we will begin our next class. Today's class will be about Dnešná prednáška bude o dalších dvoch úrovniach pokroku v oddané službe. Prvá je Bhajana Kriya, zamestnanie sa v regulatívnych princípoch oddané služby. A ten ďalší úroveň je Anarta Nivriti alebo odstranovanie prekažok. So now we will sing verse 17. Everybody, have, raise your hand if you do not have a paper. Everybody has paper. Okay. So verse 17, we'll be discussing 
the regulative principles, and also a little about a little bit about cleaning the heart. Budeme v dalších 17, 16, 17 popisovat regulativní principy a trochu o čištění srdce. Já přečítám jeden názor a vy opakujte. Excuse me, Joe, more of these papers? Yes, I do. Yeah, these are the two together ones. Yeah, I gave out not one. Yeah. Two together. Yeah, I gave away all the single ones and then yeah. now I have the two together. Okay. Shin Batam Krishna. Shin Batam Krishna. Krediyanta Sta Hyabhadrani Hriyanta Stoyanadrani Vidhu Nauti Surit Satan Vidhu Nauti Surit Satan Shri Krishna, the personality of Godhead Božská osobnost Shri Krishna Who is a Paramatma in everyone's heart Ktorý je Paramatma v srdci každého And the benefactor of the truthful devotee A je priaznúcom pravdobravných oddaných Cleanses desire for material enjoyment from the heart of the devotee who has developed the urge to hear his messages, which are in themselves virtuous, when properly heard and chanted. Uh, I'll read it once more. I said once more this different, a little bit different translation. Yeah, okay, you say the translation. Božská osobnost Shri Krishna, ktorý je ako paramat na srdci každého a aj dobrodincom pravdobravných oddaných, čistí srdce oddaného dýchťaceho po počúvaní jeho posolstva túžby po môjtom požitku. Ak sú posolstva pána správne vypočuté a prednesené, sú sami o sebe priaznivé. So one time Bibi Govinda Maharaj was driving from Delhi to Vrindavan. As Bibi Govinda Maharaj cestoval od Delhi do Vrindavanu. And his passenger was Satsuru Maharaj. A jeho pasažier bol Satsuru Maharaj. So it was in the winter time and there was a huge fog. Bolo to v zime a bola mhla veľká. When there is fog in the winter in Vrindavan, you can only see one meter, less than one meter in front. So when there is no fog, we can move very quickly. But when there is a very thick fog, we have to go slowly until our time. It takes so much time just to go a very small distance. The sun is shining above the fog, but uh, you cannot, the fog is blocking the warmth and light of the sun. So the same fog we have in our heart. We have the fog of apparat offenses. We have the fog of lust, anger, greed. We have the fog of ignorance. And we have the fog of material desires. So it covers our heart and the sun rays of the Holy Name cannot shine. We cannot see, we move slowly. Sometimes we feel very uncertain where we are going. Niekedy sa cítime veľmi neistí o hľadne toho, kam ideme. Will we ever reach our goal? Dosiahneme niekedy náš cieľ? But by sincere chanting with knowledge, the thick fog will clear. 
ale úprimným spievaním, spoznaním, tak tá mla zmizne. And our path back to Godhead will be illuminated by the sun of the Holy Name. A naša cesta späť k Bohu bude osvetlená uh, slnkom Svetého Mera. So, are we ready to go through the fog of our heart today? Takže sme pripravení uh, prejsť hmlou v našom srdci dnes. Will somebody help us? Pomôže nám niekto? Actually, Krishna will help. A Krishna nám pomôže v skutočnosti. Shri Prabhupada says in the purport, paragraph 2. Uh, Shri Prabhupada vysvetluje v, uh, vo výklade uh, odsek 2. The Lord is reciprocally responding to his devotees. Pán vzťah svojho oddaného opetuje. When he sees a devotee is completely sincere, keď vidí, ako sa oddaný celkom uh, úprimne in getting admittance to the transcendental service of the Lord, ukáza o to, aby mu mohol transcendentálne slúžiť, and has become eager to hear about him, a ako s touto úprimnosťou priam dýchtí po počúvaní rozprávania o jeho sláve. The Lord acts from within the devotee in such a way, potom sa pán zvnútra oddaného príčiní o to, the devotee may easily go back to him. aby sa k nemu oddaný mohol, mohol ľahko navrátiť. The Lord is more anxious to take us back into his kingdom than we can desire. Most of us do not desire to go back to God here. Only a very few men want to go. But anyone who desires to go, Krishna will help. Ak sa, ak, sa, ak sa však chce niekto skutočne vrátiť späť k Bohu, tak potom mu Krišna pomôže. So how many here want to go back to God here? Takže you koľko have... z nás sa chce vrátiť Not everybody. Yeah. Some people are not sure. Oh, okay. Maybe next time. <laughs> no. Everybody in Sweden, hardly anybody raised their hand. Vo Švedsku takmer nikto z nás nechal. I don't know. I was slow in my translation, but waited for me. That's why they... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Yes, the reason why you raised your hand later is because you had to get the translation. <laughs> and Shri Prabhupada, he said, even if you don't understand a single word, um, if you just hear, you become pious. A Šiel Pravpa hovorí, že aj keď nerozumiete ani jednému slovu, ak len úprimne načúvate, stajete sa zbožným. So every word that you hear, every obeisance you do, každé slovo, ktoré počujete a každá poklona, ktorú vzdáte, every spoonful of Charinamrita you take, každá lyžička plná Charinamrity, ktorú príjmete, every Hare Krishna mantra you chant, každá Hare Krishna mantra, ktorú odspievate, Krishna is counting, Krishna započíta. And he's putting in your spiritual bank account. A dá to na vaše duchovné bankové konto. Did you know you have a spiritual bank account? Vedeli ste, že máte duchovné bankové konto? So, when you get so much money in your spiritual bank account, keď máte toľko veľa peniazy na vašom duchovnom bankovom konto, then you can buy something. Potom si môžete niečo kúpiť. What can you buy? Čo si môžete kúpiť? Yes, very good. <laughs> you can buy Krishna. Yes. Krishna is purchased by his devotee. Krishna So, Prabhupada often recommended the solution to all problems is to chant Hare Krishna. často odporúčal, že riešenie všetkých problémov je spievať Hare Krishna. One time, Bhargava, my brother, asked Shri Prabhupada, Raz Bhargava, 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 fotograf sa pýtal Šilu Prabhupádu. Sometimes I have problems and the spiritual master isn't there. Niekedy mám problémy a duchovný učiteľ nie je prítomný. It's too detailed for the scriptures. A je veľa detailov v písmach. What shall I do? A čo mám robiť? Yes. Prabhupada said, if you chant Hare Krishna very nicely, odpovedal, ak spievaš Hare Krishna veľmi pekne, all the answers will come from within. Všetky odpovede prídu zvnútra. So this verse says, if you chant and hear about Krishna, 
Tento verš hovorí, že ak budete počúvať a spievať o Krišnovi, the Lord will clean all the dirty things in your heart. Pán vyčistí všetky tie špinavé veci vo vašom srdci. So I think I did this exercise before two years. Now today we will do again. Little, I mean this question, not exercise. Myslím, že sme túto otázku preberali dva roky dozadu a urobíme to znova. When you are chanting Hare Krishna, Kirtan or Japa, then if you have a video camera in your heart, what will you see? Keď chantujete v Kirtan alebo v Japa Hare Krishna a v srdci máte video kameru, tak čo uvidíte? What will you see happening here when you are chanting? Čo uvidíte, čo sa tu odohráva, keď čentujete? Krishna enters in the world. Krishna en? Krishna enters. Enters. Ok. You're chanting nicely. Krishna vstupuje do srdca. Á, dobre. Čentuješ pekne. It's getting purified. Ok, getting purified. Heart is getting purified. Srdce sa očistuje. What is Krishna doing when he comes in there? Čo Krishna robí, keď tam vchádza? What does it look like? Ako to vyzerá? Yes. Môže šťastie? A čistie. Does he bring happiness? Or create happiness? Okay, he creates happiness. Áno, môže zvára šťastie. Ako mi ma rozumie. First of all, he is terrified. Krishna? Krishna is terrified? No, I don't. Okay, maybe, I mean, if you think so. Keď myslíš? Nothing can make Krishna afraid. Nič Krishna nevláka. Ok, anybody else have some idea? He sits on the throne of the heart. Sits on the throne of the heart. Ok, we have a strong heart. He sits on the throne of the heart. And he sits there. Anything else? So, imagine, you are chanting. Predstavte si, že spievate. And the Lord is clean. A Pán čistí. How is He cleaning your heart? Ako čistí? How is your heart getting clean by the Lord being there? Ako sa srd, vaše srdce očistí tým, že tam Pán je? Does He have a brush or a broom? Má, má nejakú kefu? Sačinantan s Vami says yes. Sačinantan s Vami hovorí áno. He sweeps your heart. A on zametá tam. Yes. He's shining, so He's dissipating the darkness. Right, ok, the light, He turns on the light. On zapne, on svieti, on zapne svetlo a rozptýli tú temnotu. And dissipates the darkness, good. That will come in the next verse purport. To príde v tom význame vo ďalšie verši. Pravopad will explain what's happening. Pravopad vyzvedli, čo sa tam deje. Ok, anything else? How does he clean? Yes. Ako čistí? Maybe we can, we start to see our... Anatas or... Yeah, we're going to turn the light on. Zapneme svetlo, tak začneme vidieť anarty. Then the first thing we see is our anartas. Prvú vec, ktorú vidíme, sú naše anarty. Yes, somebody here. Yeah? We have only to hurry and see if we should drive away these sick thoughts. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. You are chanting nicely. This is a very good... Everybody is very positive here. When you chant nicely, what is happening? It's very good. You're 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 very good. Okay, I have also one idea too. I'm going to take a look. From a verse by Rupa Goswami. A verse by Rupa Goswami. He says, when I chant Hare Krishna, He says, when I chant Hare Krishna, The Lord is dancing on my tongue. Pán tancuje na mojom jazyku. Then he starts dancing in my ear. Potom začne tancovať v mojich ušiach. Then he dances in my heart. A potom tancuje v mojom srdci. So when he dances, he kicks out all the dirt. A keď tancuje, tak odkopáva všetko špinu. So this is happening when we chant Hare Krishna nicely. A to sa deje, keď spievam Hare Krishna pekne. So what are these dirty things in the heart? Čo sú tie špinavé veci v srdci? Four types. Ich sú štyri typy. First one is weakness of heart. Prvá je slabosť srdca. That means envy. To znamená závisť. Cheating and fault finding. Podvádzanie a hľadanie chýb. Desire for recognition. Túžba po uznaní. Attachment to things not related to Krishna. 
priputanosť k veciam, ktoré sa nevzťahujú ku Krišnovi. To je slabosť srdci. Druhý, čiže prvý je slabo srdci, druhý je priestupky. Means offenses to devotees. To znamená priestupky voči oddaní. Offenses to the deities. Alebo priestupky voči božstvám. Offenses to the holy name. Holy name, yeah. Priestupky voči ho svete. Na naprad. And offenses to other beings. A priestupky voči ostatným živým bytostem. So that includes cows and human beings and other, anybody. To zahrňa krávy, ľudské bytosti, ktokoľvek. So the, this is the second thing covering the heart. Third thing. To je tá druhá vec, ktorá pokrýva srdce, tretia vec je. Desire for material enjoyment. Stúžba po modnom požitku. Four kinds. Štyri druhy. To enjoy in this world. Užívať si v tomto svete. To enjoy in heaven. Stúžba užívať si v nebesách. To have mystic powers. Stúžba po mystických silách. And to have liberation. A po oslobodení. This is also covering the heart. To tak isto pokrýva srdce. Fog. Hmlatne. Or dust. Alebo prach. So the fourth type of covering is ignorance. A ten štvrtý typ pokrytia je nevedomosť. It means ignorance about who we are, who is God. A nevedomosť hľadne toho, kto sme my, kto je Boh. And what is the practice of devotional service? A aká je, aké je vykonávanie, praktikovanie oddanej služby? So Krishna helps us to clean these things when we chant and when we hear Bhagavatam. A takže Krishna nám pomáha vyčistiť tieto veci, keď čentujeme a počúvame Šrimad Bhagavatam. Just like a father, when he sees his child in trouble, he wants to do something to help. Tak ako otec, keď vidí, ako je dieťa v problémoch, tak chce urobiť niečo, aby mu pomohol. So in the fourth paragraph of the purport, v štvrtom odstavci toho výkladu, It says, by the grace of God, I don't know where it's at, somewhere in the fourth. No, you just translate it. By the grace of God, I devoted its sufficient strength to defend himself from the state of disturbances. And gradually all disturbing elements a postupne všetky tie rozrušujúce prvky a sú odstránené z mysle. Takže čo nájdeme v našom srdci? Krišna je tam a na duše je tam. A my sme tam. A takisto tie špinavé veci. A ak sme úprimní a vážni, tak Krišna to vidí a pomôže nám. So Narada Muni, he was able to advance because he served the devotees. Narada Muni bol schopný urobiť pokrok, pretože slúžil odaný. And then he developed a taste to hear about Krishna. A potom rozvinul chuť počúvať o Krišnovi. So if we serve the devotees, we can also get that taste. A ak budeme slúžiť odaný, takisto môžeme získať tú chuť. Now, two of my godbrothers, sannyasis, recommend that we cry for Krishna. A dva z mojich bratov, duchovných bratov, Sania, si nám odporúčajú, aby sme plákali po Krišnovi. Gorgovinda Maharaj, he said, I have opened a school for crying. Gorgovinda Maharaj hovorí, že som otvoril školu na plákanie. And Sachi Nandan Swami also says, after overcoming obstacles, tears of humility will remove anaktas. A Sachi Nandan Swami takisto hovorí, že po prekonaní všetkých tých prekážok, Začneme, začneme sa... Slzy pokory vyčistiť. Slzy pokory vyčistiť. Slzy pokory vyčistiť na narty. A privedú vás k Radvarani do tábora lásky. Potom sa pýta otázku. Plákali ste všetci dostatočne? So, what this means is that you you cannot do this artificially. No, čo to znamená? Nemôžeme to robiť umelo. But when you're in a difficult situation and you feel like crying, 
then chant Hare Krishna and cry. A, ale keď ste v ťažkej situácii a má, idete plakať, tak plačte a spievajte zároveň Hare Krishna. Bring your emotions when you chant the holy name. A, uplatnite tie emócie, keď spievate sa ten men. If you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you're upset, then chant Hare Krishna. Ak ste frustrovaní, sklamaní, nahnevaní, uh, spievajte Hare Krishna. And Krishna will help you. Krishna vám pomôže. So in the early days in Moscow temple this was a practice. Tých, uh, z tých, uh, z prvých noch v Moskve v chráme toto tak toto praktikovali. To cry while you chant. Uh, keď plakali, uh, zatiaľ, čo chantovali. One devotee describes his first day joining the temple. A jeden oddaný popisuje prvé dni, keď sa pripojil k do chrámu. Everybody will choose one picture in the temple. Každý si vybral jeden obrázok v chráme. And they will sit in front of the picture. A sedeli pred tým obrázkom. Chant Japa and cry. Chantovali Japu a plakali. So he said it took him three days before he can cry, but he did it. A povedal, že trvalo mu tri dni, kým začal plakať, ale dokázal to. But we don't recommend this like this. It's not artificial. Ale my toto neodporúčame, aby to byť umelé. But it will come naturally. A prírodzene to ale príde. So one devotee asked Shri Prabhupada Jeden oddaný sa opýtal Shri Prabhupada that when I chant, sometimes so many material desires come in my mind. Že keď spievam, toľko hmotných túžok prichádza do mojej mysle. Sometimes I feel like I have more bad qualities now than before I was devotee. A niekedy si myslím, že mám oveľa viac horších zlých vlastností, ako keď som uh, predtým, ako keď som nebol tam. Why is that? Prečo je to tak? Prabhupada explain, Prabhupad vysvetľuje, that suppose you have a very dirty house. Že predstavte si, že máte veľmi špinavý dom. So much dust for many months. Uh, veľa mesiacov sa tam hromadil prach. And suppose you start cleaning the house. A povedzme, že začnete uh, čistiť ten dom. What will happen? Čo sa stane? The dust will come up and fly and you will see the dust. Ten prach sa rozvíri a vidíte nový prach. Just like every morning since I'm here in front of our house this truck comes to clean the road. A, ako, a každé ráno pred našim domom prichádza ten uh, taký nákladňák, aby vyčistil cestu. And all the dust is coming up in the air. A všetok ten prach uh, sa rozvíri do vzduchu. So when we chant Hare Krishna, all the material desires are coming out, up and out. A tak takisto keď spievame Hare Krishna, všetky tie materiálne túžby uh, idú, vychádzajú tak na povrch. And you sometimes find desires you never understood, never thought you had. A niekedy vychádzajú na povrch také túžby, o ktorých ste si mysleli, že, že ich nemáte. This is coming from previous births. Uh, to prichádza z predchádzajúcich zrodení. So you must not catch them or go after them you have to let them go a nesmete ich zachytávať a vyhľadávať ich ale musíte ich nechať uh, odísť just like we are not this body we are also not the mind tak ako nie sme toto telo tak nie sme ani mysel so this is the level of cleaning the heart anartha nivriti to, to je úroveň čistenia srdca anartha nivriti or another name for it is nama bhas Iné meno pre toto je nám vás. So, Brujan in the seminar, he asked, why do we have to get rid of, get free from these anarthas? Brujan sa opýtal v svojom seminári, prečo by sme sa mali zbaviť týchto anarth? Because we need determination to attain Krishna. A pretože potrebujeme odhodlanie dosiahnuť Krishna. We need to focus on what is for our benefit. Potrebujeme sa sústrediť na to, čo je náš prospech. So Giriraj Maharaj said the same thing. Giriraj Maharaj povedal to isté. That we do receive the seed of pure devotional service. Že uh, dostávame semienko čisté oddané služby. But unless we keep close association with pure devotees. Ale pokiaľ neodržiavame uh, stálu, teda blízku spoločnosť čistými oddanými. Then our desires will be mixed together, material and spiritual. A naše moza a duchovné túžby budú také pomiešané a zoslabneme. 
So we have heard in this verse 17 about Bajana Kriya. Takže v tomto verši 17 sme počuli o Bajana Kriya. We have heard about all the dirty things in the heart. Počuli sme o všetkých tých nečistých veciach, špinavých veciach v našich srdciach. And how when we chant then the Lord cleans the heart? A ako keď chantujeme Pán čistí srdce? Now in verse 18 we will learn more about how to overcome these obstacles. A v verši 18 budeme počuť si vypočujeme viac o tom, ako prekonať tieto prekážky. And also about the different levels of devotional service before we come to the level of nishta or firm faith. A takisto v viacerých úrovniach obdané služby predtým, než sa dosiahne na úroveň ništa alebo pevný viery. So you have the paper now, we will read, we will sing verse 18. Takže máte všetci papíre, budeme teraz spievať verš 18. I will sing one line, you repeat after me. Ja prečítam, ja prespievam jednu, jeden verš a vy opakujte po mňu. Naš ta praješ a padreš By regular attendance in classes in Bhagavatam, and by rendering a service to the pure devotee, all that is troublesome to the heart is almost completely destroyed, and loving service unto the personality of Godhead, Lásky plná služba boskej osobnosti, who is praised with transcendental songs, ktorý je ospevovaný transcendentálnymi piesňami, is established as an irrevocable fact. To tak stane nezvratnou skutočnosťou. Purpoj. Here is the remedy for eliminating all inauspicious things within the heart. Tu je popísaný liek umožňujúci očistiť srdce od nepriaznivých vplyvov which are considered to be obstacles in the path of self-realization. The remedy is the association of the Bhagavatas. There are two types of Bhagavatas. Namely, the Book Bhagavat and Devotee Bhagavat. Both the Bhagavatas are competent remedies obidva Bhagavata sú účinnými prostriedkami a môžu spoločne, alebo aj len jeden z nich samotný odstrániť všetky prekažky. Ok, so we'll just now discuss some of these words here. Bhagavata Sevaya means not to approach Bhagavan directly. Not to approach Try to go to Bhagavan directly. Bhagavata Sevaya znamená snaž sa priblížiť k Bhagavatovi priamo. Not to. Not to go directly. Not to. Yeah, not to. Not to. Yeah, not to go directly to Bhagavan. We go opposite translation in the book. Okay. Ne, ne ísť priamo k Bhagavanu. Yeah. It's Bhagavat Sevaya, not Bhagavan Sevaya. First you have to serve the devotee, Bhagavat. Najprv musíme slúžiť oddanému Bhagavatovi. So who is a Bhagavat? Takže kto je Bhagavat? One who has dedicated his life to Bhagavan. A ten, kto venoval svoj život Bhagavanu. 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. Nityam Bhagavata Sehaya. Nityam Bhagavata Sehaya. Now in the Paragraph two. First, first sentence. Human reason fails to understand how, by serving the devotee Bhagavat. I will just. Okay. All right. Translate. Human reason fails to understand. Ludzkim rozumom zlihava na pochopeni, pochopeni. How by serving the devotee Bhagavat or Book Bhagavat? Ako službo odanemu Bhagavatovi alebo. One gets gradual promotion on the path of devotion. Postupne 
sa povýšime na ceste oddané služby. So, Prabhupada takes one very important phrase from the Sanskrit here, Nashta Prayeshu. Prabhupada tu vyberá jednu veľmi dôležitú časť toho verša Nashta Prayeshu. Even if you're not completely perfect, almost perfect, you come to the level of nishta or firm, firm faith. So, what percentage of the dirty things, that means not all the dirty things go from your heart, but some percentage goes out from your heart? To znamená, že nie všetky tie špinavé veci z vášho srdca musia odísť preč, iba nejaké to percento. A v tomto bode sa dosiahneme ništu alebo pevnú vieru. V prednáške na tento verš všetko Prabhupad povedal. Ak ste na 75% očistení, You become fixed in nishta. Stanete sa ustávaní v nište. Or from faith. Alebo pevné viere. So this is very interesting. To je veľmi zaujímavé. Jaya Patak Maharaj tells a story. Jaya Patak Maharaj rozpráva príbeh. In one class Prabhupada was saying. V jednej prednáške Prabhupada hovoril. You have to become 100% free from all material desires. Musíte sa na 100% očistiť od hmotných túžob. Na to, aby ste sa dostali späť k Bohu. A všetci oddaní, ktorí to počuli, vyzerali veľmi nešťastné a pozerali do zeme. Dobre, 90%. So Prabhupada said 80 percent. So Prabhupada pointed out 80 percent. And then he got off the Vyasa sun and he looked back 75 percent. Stal z toho Vyasa sunu, odchádzal, pozrel sa tak tak do dozadu a pointed out OK 75 percent. So that means if we can just come to the mode of goodness, yes? Actually, there is some addition to this. Yeah, addition. Yeah. Like one devotee came after and he said like, what can I do if I don't reach even that 75% and he was just like, hold my channel, you know, hold my channel, you can translate. Čiže je tam dodatok taký k tomuto, k tomuto príbehu, došiel od ženy, že... Potom čo to ako šla pravopláda povedala, tak jedna pani za ním prišla a hovorila, ako ja nezvládem aj tých 75% a pravopláda mu povedala, že tak sa drž môjho čadaru. Skúšam nasledujem. In another lecture, he says 50 or 60 percent. Naše prednáška hovorí 50 alebo 60 percent. So there is hope for us. Takže máme nádej. We just come to mode of goodness at least. Stačí, keď prídeme k kvalite dobre. Prabhupada will take us. Prabhupada nás zobe. If a pure devotee says something, his words must come true. Ak čistý oddaný povede nejakú vec, jeho slova sa musia naplniť. So there is one example. Je jeden príklad. One, my god brother went to Bangalore to make life members. Jeden z mojich duchovných bratov išiel do Bangaloru, aby získal nejakých životných členov. And he phoned one man and he went to his office. A zavolal jednému mužovi a išiel za ním do úradu, do práce. And this man became life member and he gave donation also. A ten muž sa stal životným členom a dal príspevok. And he said, My father was a classmate of Abai in school. A povedal, môj otec bol spolužiakom Abaja, teda pravopádu v škole. And every day at lunch he will come and play chess. A každý deň v obednom čas, teda počas obeda, prišiel a hral šach. With my father. S mojim otcom. And who wins the game will have to give lunch to the other one. A kto vyhral? musel dať obed tomu druhému. A takmer vždy vyhral Abhaj. A neskôr môj otec získal PhD v sanskrite. A stal sa profesorom. 
And Abai said, you should help me later when I do something. So after many years, uh, they heard that there is a temple in Calcutta. So the son went to see Srila Prabhupada in Calcutta temple. Prabhupada said, where is your father? Why didn't he come? Tell him I want to see him. So the son went home and told the father. And the father said, How can I see, go and see him? He is guru of the world. And I am just a attached married man. The son said, but he wants to see you. What shall I tell him? The father said, tell him I'm sick. Prabhupada saw and he said, why didn't your father come? He's sick, okay, I'm coming to see him. <laughs> so for more, next morning, morning walk, they were going through many different roads this way, that way. So he went to the house and went straight to the bedroom of the father. And he poked him, he said, hey, you didn't come to see me. <laughs> he said, my disciples need to learn Sanskrit. I told you, you should help me. <laughs> come, come teach them Sanskrit. You can travel around the world with me and teach them. Why don't you do that? You come, I will take you. So, Swamiji, I'm very old. Don't have any spiritual energy. Prabhupada said, no, you have the same spark as I do. You should join this movement. Perfect your life. Better late than never. <laughs> and Prabhupada left. Then 3 o'clock, the son came back from school. His father asked for some water. And he leaned back and he said, Bhakti Vranta Swami will take me. Then he closed his eyes and he left his body. So, <laughs> very, very deep. So the, the, this man in the office, he said, when Prabhupada came to my father and said, you come, I, uh, and, uh, the son, we're back to the office now, he's telling the story to our devotee. So he says, in the morning when Prabhupada came, and he said, you come, I will take you. I thought Prabhupada was saying, you come to Iskon and I will take you to America. We understood what Prabhupada actually meant, ale pochopili sme, že to, čo Prabhupad mal v skutočnosti na mysli, After my father passed away. po tom, čo môj otec opustil telo, He says, so when you called me and, and asked me to become member, I told you to come just to tell you the story. <laughs> ok, anyway, this man was already a life member. Tento muž bol už životným členom. So, the moral of the story is, Even if we are not completely perfect, if we have faith in Prabhupada, Prabhupada will take us back to God. 
So Dina Mandu, my godbrother, also uh, said he heard Prabhupada in LA. Dina Mandu, my duchovny brat, on tam isto hovorí, že že počul Prabhupadu v LA. He said, if you just follow four negative principles. Chant 16 rounds. Then you will go back to God. He said, I'll guarantee it. So we, we just have to follow Shri Prabhupada. Follow his instructions. And in this life we can go back to God. So now. Uh, I want to explain the question you had yesterday. What is actually the step-by-step -step process? What is happening in our heart? Where from this level of beginning devotional service all the way to prema. This is described in Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Toto je popisané v Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Adi Lila. Chapter 1. Kapitola 1. Verse 96 to 104. Verse 96 až do 104. There is a verse which says, Lord Chaitanya Nityananda. Je tam verš, ktorý hovorí, že pán Chaitanya a Nityananda. Have arisen like the sun and the moon. Vystúpili ako slnko a mesiac. And they have come to dispel all ignorance. A prišli, aby so the sun, this sun that we see coming here, it dispels the darkness of this world. A toto slnko, ktoré tu vidíme, tak ono tohto sveta. But Gornitai, they come and dispel the darkness of our heart. A a teda srdci. So first thing that happens is Gornitai come in our heart. A prvá vec, čo sa deje, je, že Gornitai prichádza do nášho srdca. Next, what happens after Gornitai come in our heart? To ďalšie, čo sa udeje, keď potom, čo Gornitai prídu do nášho srdca? They show us two kinds of Bhagavatas. A ukážu nám dva druhy Bhagavatov. The book and the Vuti. A knihu a odbana. So you see Guru and you see the books. Uvidíte Guru a knihu. And after we meet Bhagavatas, two Bhagavatas, Potom, stretneme, Bhagavato, then we get bhakti, we get love of God. Dostaneme bhakti, lásku k Bohu. And after we get bhakti, what happens? A potom, čo dostaneme bhakti, čo sa stane? Who can tell me? First, no, kdo vie boh? Mi vie povedať. You have to know a little bit to tell, because it's not something easy to understand. What happens next after you get love of Godhead in your heart? Čo sa udeje potom, čo dostajete lásku Bohu vo vašom srdci? Yes. Získama vieru a entuziasmus. We get faith and enthusiasm. Good. Yeah, that's one thing. Dobre, to je jedna vec. Anything else? Niečo iné? We get, we control Krishna. If you have bhakti, then Krishna is attracted and he, you control him. Just like we said, you can purchase Krishna. So now we will do a little bit of work. Um, What are the different levels of unsteady devotional service? So on the left side we have a list of the different stages that we go through. As we Advanced devotional service. The, the lowest one on the left side is Utsaha Mai. Uh, ten na na 
So this happens when you become a new devotee at the beginning. You think you're somebody special. And sometimes you may go and try to preach to your parents. In the wrong way. You are over enthusiastic. You may tell them you are not my father and mother. <laughs> I had so many mothers and fathers. This is not the way to preach. <laughs> or else you may go on the street to sell a book. And you may say, unless you worship Krishna, you will go to hell, like some other religions say. <laughs> Or you may say, oh, you are so old, your hair is gray, uh, your hair is falling out, your teeth are falling out. You're going to die very soon. <laughs> you should read this Bhagavad Gita. And this is not the way to preach. This is uh, called the first level, false confidence, over enthusiasm. You think you are a great devotee and everybody else is in Maya. Yeah. So later on you find out that everybody else is a nice devotee and you're in Maya. So that's the first level. The next level is called Ghana Tarala. Sporadic endeavor. Sometimes you're enthusiastic. Sometimes you're not. You're lazy. You think, okay, I went to so many, so many times I went to a temple. This week I will not go. Or if you're living in the temple, you may think, okay, every day I get up early, today I will sleep. Or sometimes you are saying, okay, today I chanted. Eight rounds. Tomorrow I will just chant one round. It's too much. Albo si možete povedať, že dnes som očentoval osem kôl, zajtra si očentujem len jednu. So sometimes up, sometimes down. Nekedy hore, nekedy dole. And sometimes if if you're a more older devotee, a nekedy keď ste taký starší odtani, it gets more on the subtle level. A tak sa to skôr odohráva na také jemné úrovni. So sometimes you chant very nicely and you hear attentively. Nekedy spievate veľmi pekne a dobre načúvate. And sometimes it's just very mechanical. A nekedy je to veľmi také mechanické. So this is the second level here. To je druhá úroveň. The third level, Vyuda Vikalpa. A tretia úroveň sa volá Vyuda Vikalpa. Is indecision. Je rozhodnosť. Extensive speculation. Prenané špekulovanie. So this means you don't know what to do next. To znamená, že neviete, čo ďalej robiť. If you are living outside, if you're single, you think, oh, shall I get married? Ak žijete mimo chrám a ste slobodní, tak uvažujete nad tým, mal by som sa možený? If you're married, you think, oh, should I be single? It's better for my spiritual life. Ak ste ženatý, tak si uvažujete tak, že mal by som byť slobodný, je to lepšie pre môj duchovný pokrok? If you're like a brahmachari in the temple, you think, shall I go to India? Vrindavan? Or shall I do some other service? Or shall I go to another temple? So this is the third level. You can't decide what to do next. In your spiritual life. Uh, then the fourth level, Vishaya Sangara. Uh, Vishaya Sangara. 
you, are, you have conflicting doubts and arguments, but you know that actually I should be doing nice devotional service. Máte také vnútorné boje, ale viete, že by ste ste taký ustálenejší. You're struggling with the senses. Bojujete so zmyslami. You have material desire you want to enjoy. Máte emotné túžby po užívať si. So sometimes you, you, you are defeated. A niekedy ste porazení. And you enjoy something material. A chcete si užívať niečo emotné. But then you feel very bad and you say, oh no, that was very, I should not have done that. A potom sa cítite veľmi zlé a lutujete to, že toto som nemal robiť. And again you say, okay, I'm gonna, now I will sit down, I will read, I will chant. A potom znova sa pamätáte, povedete si, sadnete si a budem chantovať si povedete. But then it happens again. A potom sa to stane znova. You follow, you do, you, you go after some material desire. Potom znova idete si splniť nejakú hmotnú túžbu. So this is the fourth level, struggle with the senses. Toto je štvrtá úroveň, boj so zmyslami. So the fifth level, niya ma shama. Piatá úroveň, niya ma shama. Means you cannot improve. Znamená, že nemôžete sa zlepšovať. You stay on the same level. Zostávate na tej istej úrovni. Sometimes you think, okay, tomorrow is a Kadashi, I will do new job. Nekedy si môžete mysleť, nekedy si mysleť, pomyslite. Zatra je Ekadashi, budem nasledovať new job. I will chant 64 times. A odčentujem 64 kôl. I will stay up all night. A ostanem celú noc hore. And maybe you will do this. Ahoj, možno sa vám to podarí. But next day only eating and sleeping. Ale ďalší deň iba jedlo a spánok. And sometimes you will say, okay, from tomorrow I will chant 25 rounds every day. For a few days you do. And then you go back to 16. So this level you're trying to do something more to improve, but you cannot. Urobiť niečo viac, dlhšie, ale nevydržíte, to nemôžete. Then the sixth last level, Taranga Rangini. A ten posledný, posledná úroveň, Taranga Rangini. Enjoy material facilities. Užívanie si hmotných takých vymožeností. This means that when you become a devotee, to znamená, že keď sa stanete oddanými, sometimes you get nice facilities. Niekedy dostanete pekné také Vymoženosti, hmotné. Maybe you will get your own room in the temple. Možno dostanete vlastnú izbu v chráme. In India this is a very big thing. Toto v Indii je veľmi veľká vec. Maybe you will get a cell phone, mobile phone. Možno dostanete mobilný telefón. Maybe you will get a motorbike. Možno sa dostanete nejakú v motorke. So if you think this is mine, then you fall down. Ak si myslíte, že toto je moje, tak upadnete, poklesnete. So we get fisted. Sometimes even you you will give a class and somebody will praise you. A niekedy možno dáte prednášku a niekto vás oceni, ospevuje. So if you accept that praise, then this is this level, last level of entanglement or unsteady devotional service. A ak akceptujete to túto túto oslavu, tak to je ten posledný posledná úroveň. So these are the six levels of Bajana Kriya unsteady devotional service. Toto je šest úrovní Bajana Kriya nestále oddané služby. Yeah, unsteady Bajana Kriya. Anishtita on the top. Anishtita Bajana Kriya. Anishtita Bajana. See the title? Six stages of an art and a routine. Ten nadpis je šesť štády. Means unsteady, without nishta. A znamená nestále, bez ništy. So why is there like six stages of anarta nevriti when we say it's stages of bhajana kriya? Yeah, well anarta nevriti is the, what you're going through, the whole thing. The whole thing is anarta, is the level of anarta nevriti. They are just kind of going. Yeah, it's the same thing. Different names for the same thing. 
Prečo sa to teda volá Anata Nevirky, keď sa bavíme o Božena Kriá a odpovedie je, že teda je to celý ten proces sa volá Anata Nevirky, odstraňovanie nechcených vecí? Unsteady Božena Kriá means uh, an, an analysis of Anata Nevirky. A nestala Božena Kriá znamená analýza Anata Nevirky. So tomorrow we will talk about the right side, the five obstacles. Zajtra budeme hovoriť o tej pravej strane, o tých piatich prekažkách. A to bude na zajtra na prednáške, takže toto si prineste prosím vás späť. Takže chcem, aby ste pozreli na prednáške, takže toto si prineste prosím vás späť. So I want you to look at this from just one minute. A chcem, aby som, aby ste si pozreli toto aspoň na minútu. On the left side. Na tú ľavú stranu. And just for yourself only, see which level or levels you are now. A len aby ste tak na seba si tak pozreli, zhodnotili, že na akom, na akom leveli ste teraz. This is confidential, we will not share this. A toto je také dôverné, s týmto sa, o toto sa deliť nebudeme. Just for you. Iba tak pre seba. For your own information. Pre vašu vlastnú informáciu. So just look for one minute and just see where you think you are now. You may have all six also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can have more than one or you can have all of them. Is it possible for example for example to be on the time that I'm giving mm -hmm. to have troubles with that, but yeah. be free of Utsahamai? Yeah, it could be yeah. Yeah, so it's not that this is the one, the next step, next no, step. No, no. Well, it is, it is like that. It's next step, next step. But um, at the same time, you may even have the top one and have other ones too. Čiže je možné mať byť na úrovni Tarang Rangimi a zároveň bojovať zúca a maji, že je to tak krok za krokom, že od jedného stupňa k druhému. Áno, že je to tak, ale zároveň to môže byť aj tak, ako zmixované. It's not like you go through and you leave the other one behind. You may go through and stay there and go to the next one as well. A není to tak, že keď sa dostaneš, môžeš zvládnuť jedno druhé a už si na tom druhom a opustiť to druhé. Môže to byť tak, že sa dostaneš na ten druhý alebo tretí stupeň, ale zároveň aj tie predchádzajúce stupne zobrať do sebou, byť aj stále na tej úrovni tých predchádzajúcich stupňov. Yes. Another question? Yeah. Okay. For example, the sporadic and the rare. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's say we have a devotee who is fixed in chanting uh, 16 rounds mm -hmm. and, uh, in his service, but he has desire to, um, let's say, um, worship deities, but does not have so much time, so he's doing sporadically. So would that be anatta, or would that be better if he just rather don't do that? So does not do that service. Or? Povedzme, že niekto, čo sa týka sporadického úsilia, je fixovaný v čentovaní, ale chce ústevať aj božstva, ale nemá na to moc času, tak... Pozále. Miast, pravože. Ja jednú ste. Povedzme, že teda niekto napríklad je ako fixovaný, ako v svojej službe, v čentovaní 16, ale dajú tomu, že má túžbu robiť niečo iné, napríklad ústevať božstva, ale nemá na to dostatok času, čiže to robí iba sporadicky, bolo by to považované za anartu a je teda lepšie nepriberať takú ďalšiu činnosť? No, toto nie je ten úroveň sporadické úsilie. Because you're doing one service, you're chanting, I mean this devotee is chanting their 16 rounds, so They are trying their best to do devotional service. A pretože to je tak, že tento oddaný robí jednu vec ustále, ne? Čentuje 16 kôl a snaží sa aspoň túto jednu vec robiť dobre. But they don't have time to do all the services. Ale nemajú čas robiť všetky tie služby. Sporadic endeavor means that you just, you don't need, you don't want to do it. You're enthusiastic or you're, you just, you don't have, you don't want to do it. A sporadické úsilie znamená, že to z času na čas nechcete robiť. Niekedy to máte radi, niekedy to nemáte radi. 
I mean, it sounds to me like this example you gave, the devotee may want to do, but he just cannot. He doesn't have the capacity. Yeah, so it's different. Takže toto je odlišné vzásami, že toto, čo ty spomínaš, teda je, že ten oddaný to chce robiť, ako len nemá čas. It's not like, okay, today I like to dress the deities, and tomorrow I don't like to dress the deities. Táto sporadická úsia je, že dnes chcem obľúdať zbožstva a zajtra nechcem. He likes to do, but he just doesn't have the time. Má to rád, chce to robiť, ale nemá čas. Yeah, I mean, he's always enthusiastic about it, but... It's just a question of time. So he uses the time in other devotional service, so therefore it's it's okay. On využíva svoj čas na inú odanú službu, preto je to v poriadku. Not like okay, today I I go on internet and watch a movie, and tomorrow I will dress the deities, and next day I will watch a movie and. Dnes idem na internet a pozerať televizor, zajtra obločujem božstva a pozajtra zase budem robiť niečo. Aspoň nejaký servis robený ten istý čas. Ok, so we will go on. Any more questions on this? Tak budeme pokračovať alebo ešte nejaké otázky k tejto k tomuto rebríčku. Ok, we just have a little bit more here. So is it correct that once we go through Anartha Nivriti, our Bajana Kriya is Anishta? Is Nishta? Yeah, that's right. Once we go through Anartha Nivriti, that will be more about tomorrow's class. Tomorrow's class. No, Anartha Nivriti, but we are not so far with that. So here I have also some prayers that can help. You can say them before chanting or after chanting, and that will help you. Mám tu zo pár rozdať. Môžete ich spievať pred spievaním alebo po pospievaní, môžem vám pomôcť. o falošné, dočasné oslovovanie tohto vesmírneho prejavu. Opisy pána sú správnym liekom pre podmenenú dušu, ktorá postupuje opakované zrodenie a smrť. 
Therefore, who will cease hearing such glorification of the Lord? Preto ten, kto prestane s počúvaním takého oslavovania Pána, except a butcher or one who is killing his own self. Uh, okrem uh, mesiara alebo toho, uh, kto uh, zabíja svoje vlastné ja. So Shiva Prabhupada recommends we chant this verse after our japa. Shiva Prabhupada odporúča, aby sme spievali tento verš po uh, našej japa. To counteract offenses. Aby sme uh, tak ako zabránili tým uh, priestupkom. The next prayer, Harinam Chintamani. Dalšia modlitba, Harinam Chintamani. Dasha aparada jena vita jena paše. Dasha aparada jena vita jena paše. Kripa kari maha prabo mači nam rase. Kripa kari maha prabo mači nam rase. O maha prabo, please be merciful to me. O maha prabo, prosím, buď milostivý ku mne. So that the ten offenses never touch my heart aby desať priestupkov sa nikdy nedotklo mojho srdca. And I can always remain absorbed in the rasa of the holy name. A aby som stále mohol byť pohružený do rasy svetého mena. Ok, so let's, you can take this and use this after your japa. A, takže si to môžete zobrať a použiť to a, po vašej japa. Now that, uh, what I want you to do for homework also. To, čo by som chcela, aby ste urobili na domácu úlohu. I want you to chant Japa. Chcela by som, aby ste spievali Japu. Tomorrow morning. Zajtra ráno. And try to avoid inattention. A snaží sa vyhnúť nepozornosti. As I explained, I think, two years ago, Shira Prabhupada was asked by devotee how to chant with attention. Ako som vysvetlila, myslím, dva roky dozadu, jeden od nami sa raz pýtal Shira Prabhupadu, ako spievať ako sa vyhnúť teda nepozornosť? Ako spievať s pozornosťou? Shira Prabhupada said, just try to hear yourself chant sincerely. A Prabhupada odpovedal, len sa snáš počúvať seba samého, ako úprimne spievaš. So that is your homework for tomorrow. Tak to je vaša domáca úloha na zajtra. Chant sincerely, hear yourself chant sincerely. A spievajte úprimne a počúvajte samých seba ako úplne spievať. And Krishna is cleaning your heart. A Krishna vám čistí srdce. So one more last thing I would like to say. A ešte jednu vec, poslednú by som chcela povedať. How to get inspiration. Ako získať inšpiráciu. Hansa Dutta got a letter from Shira Prabhupada. Hansa Dutta dostal list od Shira Prabhupadu. He was in Germany. Bol v Nemecku. Prabhupada said, why are my books not being printed in Germany? A Prabhupada sa opýtal, prečo sa moje knihy nevytláčajú v Nemecku? So Hansa Dutta said, Hansa Dutta odpovedal, I can hardly speak German, I cannot translate them. A ja takmer neviem vôbec po Nemecky, ja ich nemôžem preložiť. Then he said, but I, oh, Prabhupada wants his books in German. A potom povedal, a Prabhupad chce knihy v Nemecku. So he wrote to Prabhupad, what do I do? Tak sa pýtal, tak čo budem robiť? So Prabhupad said, chant Hare Krishna, Krishna will give you intelligence. A Prabhupad povedal, spieva Hare Krishna a Krishna ti dá inteligenciu. That was almost always the answer Prabhupad gave me. A to bolo takmer vždy tá odpoveď, ktorú mi dal Prabhupad. Prabhupad wasn't the type of manager who would give details. Pravopád nebol ten tým manažera, ktorý by dával detaily. He inspired you to use your creative intelligence. A inšpiroval vás, aby ste použili svoju kreatívnu inteligenciu. And Pravopád said, there is a kind of individual genius. Pravopád povedal, že je druh takého genia v jednotlivcovi. In every living entity. V každej živé bytosti. So I looked up the word genius in the dictionary. Ja som si pozrel význam slova genius v slovníku. Definition was indwelling deity. Definícia bola je bola taká neochvejné božstvo alebo teda božstvo, ktoré tam 
Du hast den Power. Ma, du Silo. You must have it in order to give it also. Du Silo hat ja nur mal das. So we could see she probably had it, so he could give it. Vidíme, že pravda je malá, tak by mohla dát. Any other questions? Také jiné otázky? We still have half an hour. Máme ještě půl hodinku. Yes. Before meeting of ourselves with Krishna in the heart. Okay. Do we have experience of Paramatma before meeting Krishna? Paramatma experience of Paramatma means inspiration. Skúsenosť s Paramatmou znamená inšpirácia. When you when you are inspired to to do some service. Keď ste inšpirovaní robiť nejakú službu. Inspiration is coming from Paramatma. Inšpirácia pochádza z od Paramatma. But actually um, for devotees Paramatma is Krishna. Ale v skutočnosti pre oddaných je Paramatma Krishna. Whoever, whichever deity you are attached to, that deity will be in your heart. Akékoľvek božstvo, ku ktorému ste priputaní, to božstvo bude vo vašom srdci. Maybe Radha Krishna, maybe Gornitai, maybe Jagannath. Možno Radha Krishna, možno Gornitai, možno Jagannath. So that is your Paramatma. To je tvoja Paramatma. So this, this is confirmed in Bhagavad Gita. Toto je potvrdené v Bhagavad Gita. If Krishna says, if someone is worshipping me, I give him intelligence. Kde Krishna hovorí, ak ma niekto úctieva, ja mu dám inteligenciu. And intelligence is coming from Paramatma, so that means Krishna is Paramatma. A inteligencia pochádza od Paramatmy, to znamená, že Krishna je Paramatma. For the devotee, Paramatma is Krishna. Pre odaného Paramatma je Krishna. And in Bhagavatam also confirmed this. No, tak isto je to potvrdené v Bhagavatam. That the Lord comes in your heart, whichever deity you are attached to, He comes. Pán prichádza do tvojho srdca, od obe akéhokoľvek božstva, ku ktorému ste si priputaní. Maybe the Srinidev. Možno the Srinidev. Maybe Lord Ram. Možno Pán Rama. Maybe Gornitai. Možno Gornitai. Or maybe Radha Krishna. Možno Radha Krishna. Rukmini Dvarakadish. Rukmini Dvarakadish. So they are your Paramatma. Oni sú tvoja Paramatma. Haraman, he showed Sita Ram. Haraman, on... Yeah, he gripped his heart open to show. So, Paramatma is there before we become devotees. Paramatma je tam ešte predtým, než sa stáleme oddaní. Bringing us to Krishna consciousness. A privádza nás k vedomiu Krishna. Then after we come, we hear about Krishna and then Krishna becomes our. Potom čo prídeme, počúvame o Krišnovi a potom Krišna príde do nášho srdca a stane sa Paramatma. But Paramatma is Krišna is Paramatma. Paramatma is also Krišna. A Paramatma je tak isto Krišna. Je to expanzia. It's expansion of Krišna. Je to expanzia Krišnova. Okay. Nedalo by sa to porovnať s tým, ako Krestania hovoria, že Could you compare it? Could you be compared to the situation when Christians say that the Lord has entered your heart? Yeah. 
He's already there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah but it's similar. But it's similar. I think, let's see. They call it three three things, like the I can't remember now. The Lord, Spirit, the Lord, the Holy Ghost, something. Means Brahman Paramatma Bhagavan. We we know the Sanskrit uh, for that. <laughs> it is the same. I heard in the lecture of Adi Gosha Prabhu that uh, our uh, senses are some, something like condensed, uh, our spiritual senses, spiritual, mm -hmm. spiritual senses, and uh, they wake up after after we are purified completely. Mm -hmm. And what what happens uh, in in the kirtan? Do we when we chant in in ecstasy before in front of the deities? When we are not completely purified, is it uh, are these spiritual senses engaged, or is it, is it just pretending? Čiže otázka je, na prednáške som počul, že naše duchovné zmysly sú ako keby ako kondenzované a uh, nesú zapojené, pokiaľ sme není úplne očistení, a že keď teda v extázi tancujeme v kirtane, že či sú zaangažované iba naše duchovné zmysly, alebo je to v podstate iba také predstierané. Ja, yeah, one devotee asked Shri Prabhupada that when I cry in Kirtan, is it spiritual or is it material? Jeden odaný sa opýta Shri Prabhupada, že keď plačem v Kirtane, je to duchovné alebo hmotné? Shri Prabhupada said it's spiritual. Shri Prabhupada povedal, že je to duchovné. So even now our soul can feel some of the spiritual ecstasies. A dokonca aj teraz naša duša uh, dokáže cítiť tie duchovné, nejaké duchovné extázy. But it comes and it goes. It doesn't stay. Ale to tak prichádza a odchádza. So when we come to the level of ruchi, then it comes and it stays. Ale keď sa dostaneme na úroveň ruchi, tak to príde a ostane to. It doesn't go. Uh, neodíde to. Now we, get, we can even have some taste. Uh, teraz už tiež môžeme mať nejakú chuť and some attachment. Um, but we're not on that level, but we can get a, we can feel it even in the lower levels. But when it becomes 24 hours, then we are on that level. Yeah, even we're in the beginning, we can feel some ecstasy. Some taste. That, that means that our spiritual sense is something like yeah, it's, it's, open. Yeah, uh, you get a glimpse. You get a glimpse. It means that our spiritual senses are something like open. Krishna reveals something. Krishna reveals something. Any other questions? Yes, Jenna, do you want to ask me? Okay, so please try to hear yourself chant attentively in your japa tomorrow. Tak, v poriadku, snažte sa, prosím vás, spievať pozorne pri svojej japa zajtra. And now it's time for prasadam. A je teraz čas na prasadam. Now you can engage your tongue. Teraz môžete zamestnať váš váš jazyk. In uh, serving Krishna. V službe Krishna. Your spiritual sense of taste. Uh, váš duchovný zmysel chutí. Tak,